Good day, friends. It is me, AHL Mod Tech, and I'm in the mood to make some super slick Tinkercad keychains. So let's get cracking. Once again, open Tinkercad, find your desktop, and today we're going to hit create and choose 3D design. Once again, I love to start by naming it. We're going to name this one Keychain. And then I add my initials quite often so that way it differentiates when I export it. Our goal today is to create a few keychains that we can 3D print. We are going to start by simply bringing out the cube and then I'm going to tell you to type these measurements. For the length, I'm going to tell you to type 25 and press enter. For the width, I'm going to tell you to put 70 and press enter. And for the thickness or the height, I'm going to tell you I like the number two. It makes a decent keychain. Notice right now it's got very square edges. We can make it so it rounds real easily by just putting a two right there. You'll notice now if we zoom in and look underneath or even hit F for fit view, it's a very nice rounded shape. Now I'm gonna show you one more thing here. These handles are super cool. We can type our 70, press enter. I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna just make this four just to differentiate so you can see this. But this time, because I stretched the handles, it breaks these parameters. Now if I put a two here, check out how the radius no longer functions the way you want. Now I use this technique a ton of times when I made my original tutorials. Now I've learned that if I want the sweet rounded corners, I've got to type the numbers for this base shape. I'm gonna switch back to this one and because I have not stretched it or anything, I could even change the radius and it readjusts each time you do it. So I just wanted to make sure you understood that. I'm gonna delete this one. I'm gonna stay with the nice ones. I'll just highlight again how you can change the color. Now this has nothing to do with how it 3D prints. This is just if you want it to look different while you're building it. I want two of these, so I'm gonna do Control D. Let's do Shift Nudge to move that one away. I'm gonna pick a different color for it. And we did that because there are several kinds of text. The first text we're going to do is right here. Once again, because of cruising, you can just bring it right out. Backspace, type your name. I'm going to put CAD class. You can put whatever you want. This one, I am going to just stretch the handles because the parameters on this one do not matter that much to me. And then I'm going to click and change the height to 1.5 and press enter. And just like that, we have got a cool little keychain. I'm going to select it all. Choose L for align. Of course, there is the align button. Choose center and center. Now I want to cut a hole in this keychain, so I'm going to shrink this just a little bit more. Notice I'm using the black handle, so it's only one direction at a time. And then I'm going to bring out this cylinder to cut my hole. Now I want the sides to be 64, so it's as round as it can be. Of course, it's got to be a hole. And then I'm going to shift stretch it. Instead of that crazy large 38, I'm going to put a 5 and press enter. Notice it snapped to 5 in every direction. I'm going to select just those two, choose a line, make the blue one the boss. So now these handles focus on the blue piece, and I wanted to go to that corner and that corner. I can now click on that hole and do two clicks right, two clicks down, and if we zoom around or use our awesome view cube, you can see that is a sweet location. We can just take those two items now. Notice it says two shapes and group them, which is also the shortcut control G. Just like that, you have made a fun keychain. To export this for 3D printing, you are already all set. You can just grab the two pieces, choose export and choose STL save it wherever you save yours. I have got a folder called 3D modeling where I store all of mine and then I'm gonna add a CC on this. So I know it is the CAD class keychain. I'll explain more about 3D printing later. Right now let's build our second keychain with another sort of text. If we click on the search and we type script SCR, we find this cool script text. Notice this is the favorite button. You'll want to start clicking those as I show you cool shapes. That way later when you want to find your favorites, I will use that right now to grab my script text. Notice I've got several saved, so I do have to click a couple of times to get down and find it. It was one of the first ones I added, so now I can grab and cruise that onto the top of my shape. 
I'm going to backspace again, and I'm going to make this one say, I'm going to change it to the words go blue. For kicks, I'm going to make it blue. This could be my Michigan Wolverines keychain. I'm going to squeeze that in the same way using both the black handles and this white handle to shrink it. Once again, when I'm happy, I can select them all, choose L for a line, make the yellow in the boss, and choose middle and middle. Make sure that you like the way it's landing. The hanging down G makes this a little bit trickier. I think that actually looks a little better. I'm going to nudge it over just a tiny bit. Let's return to our basic shapes. Bring out this hole again. Once again, make the sides round. And I'm going to shift shrink this time because it does work both ways. Type my 5 and press enter. Now we're going to make two more keychains. So we're going to do control D. So that way that one doesn't have to be completed again. Select the two. L for a line. Yellow one boss. Click. Click. And then it's just one click, two click, one click, two click. Now these are going that amount because we've got the nudge set to one millimeter. If you wanted a smaller nudge, you could switch it to 0.1. Of course, we also use 0.5 for some projects as well. I do need to adjust the height of this. I'm going to go back to that 1.5 that I liked before. And now we can simply grab those two and do control G. Notice it does take a moment for it to group, but there you are. Two fun keychains in almost no time. Let's make another keychain. This time we're going to bring out a heart. Once again, shrink it down to one and a half or two. We cannot make the edges of this round. To do something like that, you would be wise to use Send to Fusion 360. I do have tutorials about that, or you can find the awesome ones on cadclass.org. Because of the way we built this, the text is still separate. So I can do Control D. Shift select, L for a line, make the heart the boss and snap that to the middle and the middle. When I click on the text, check it out. We have got other choices. Let's check technique. Notice it takes a second for it to show up. And then I'm going to change it to another word. Let's make it say love or whatever you think sounds cool. And because this is in the center, I am going to do alt shift. So we shrink it around the center. We can make it so it's the right size. I can stretch it out so it's a little longer. Now that I've got it so it fits, I can pick a different color after those little stretches. I'm going to choose the white for that. One final L for alignment. That middle stayed. This middle I can adjust. I don't like that though, so I'm going to nudge it up with the arrow keys. And then we do want to cut a hole in it. Once again, since we've got that hole, we can simply do Control D, and grab it, bring it over set it where it goes, select those two and do control G, extra keychain created. I do want to quickly mod the word love. Notice because of alt shift, it is super short. If I do that 1.5 millimeters, then it sticks out the way the others have been in our project. Here comes our last fun keychain of the day. Control D, bring this down. And my strategy for making these keychains is to keep them about seven centimeters. That's why we did the 70 back here. They print quickly in a classroom, which I always found to be pretty sweet. Since I carried this off of here, I do need to do D to drop. Now you can see it's on the work plane. You can pick whichever one of these you want. Just when you've got the one that you do want to use, make sure you stretch it out so that it fits. Change your word to something you think is awesome. I'm going to do my YouTube name, HL Mod Tech. Notice this one only does capital letters, which is fine. I'm going to squeeze it down so it's about the 70. And I'm going to make sure this is size 20. Now here is the cool trick we're going to use. We're going to go export. We only want the selected shape. We're going to export it as an SVG. Now this is usually for laser cutting, but watch how cool it is for printing. So this will be keychain MHHL. And then as soon as it's done, which is crazy fast, I am going to go back and choose import, grab that file, and here is my keychain. I can simply open it. I always want the art. I'm going to keep the measurements and I'm going to choose import. Now it comes in and you'll look at it and say, hey, that's the exact same as it was. Well, that is not quite correct. We've got this awesome fill mode button. So I'm going to pick a color that seems kind of fun. How about a funky orange? I'm going to change my height to two. 
And under fill mode, I'm going to choose outer line. It went to line width 5, which is freaking huge. I'm going to instead change that to 2. I'm going to also bump up the quality. And instead of sharp corners, I'm going to do round corners. So this little thing stabbing out the bottom will go away. And all of a sudden, I will have the back of a pretty nifty keychain. If we do control D again, and I change this one to default, and pick a different color, let's go with a interesting blue, and drag these to every corner you want, and friends, we have just made a wicked cool keychain using what's called SVGs and the fill mode. Now sometimes you'll have an extra fill mode called silhouette. It'll fill in this hole back. If we wanted these pieces filled in, we could put pieces inside there and group them. Friends, I want a place for the keychain on this one, the way this is built. We're just going to bring out a cylinder. Of course, make it smooth. Notice it already kind of fits. We just need to change the height. There's my two. I will align it, so I'm selecting those two items, choosing L for align, clicking on the orange one, and making sure it's in the middle. Holy cow, I accidentally put it in the exact right spot. I'm going to nudge it into where I think looks cool. Shift select those two and do control G to group. It picked the other color instead of the color I liked more. So I'm going to go to custom and I'm just going to make that crazy color right there. And then of course, we need to find the hole. I don't have to duplicate it, but I'm going to because I may want to make more keychains. And having the hole available is pretty darn slick. Select the two, L for a line, click that middle, and group it. So that's how to build keychains. Now let me show you how to print a keychain. If you do not have your own 3D printer, these steps will help you. If you choose to print yours, it's say a library or a maker space. Next up, friends, we're going to go to what's called the slicer. The one I choose to use is Ultimaker Kira. It is totally free and it works with a ton of 3D printers. I'm going to use it today with my Soval SV06. Once we've got the printer selected, we can find the file. I'm going to get it from my disk. Remember, we stored it in the 3D modeling folder. When I launch it, you can see it shows up right there. Now this printer can only print one color at a time. I'm going to be printing with PLA and these are the numbers I use for that printer. I'm going to use 0.28 layers. So this is low quality. That makes it print a lot faster. The walls are going to be 0.8. Top bottom is going to be 1.12, which is four layers. You can tell it's four layers because it's doing the math of 0.28 times four. I'm going to choose 15% infill. There are lots of different settings you could use for infill pattern. I'm going to stay with lines. Temperature is going to be 200 for the PLA. The bed will be 60. The speed will be 60. And I do not need any support or adhesion. It's just going to be fine like it is. Before we can print it, we need to slice it. I have got mine set so it waits for me to slice. You can see there it's going to be 24 minutes if I hit preview. We can slide it down. You'll see there are a total of 12 layers, and that's how it's going to look as it builds. I'm going to connect my SD card to the SD card reader real quick. It's a micro SD card. Once that's connected, you can see it automatically recognized it, and I can save it to the removable drive. It happened that quickly. I can eject it, and let's take it to the 3D printer. All right, so first things first, this is the micro SD card. That's what I just put the print on. Then I've got to slide it in right back here. And now we can get it ready for printing. I'm going to simply click, move down to print from media. Of course, we'll move the SD card that I had. And if we slide through my list, right there is that keychain I just made, CC. Simply click on it. It says, do you really want to print it? I'm going to tell it yes. It is going to start heating up. You can see the bed is going to heat first. Then it's going to heat the nozzle. And then after about 20 minutes, we'll have a cool little keychain. I recorded a simple time lapse so you can see it building. This printer is hard to see what's happening underneath. But as you can see, it is built from the bottom up, layer by layer, until finally 
we have a finished keychain. All right, everybody, so there it is. Printed in 28 minutes, and how cool is that? We took a project that took only about five minutes to build, and all of a sudden, we've got a wicked cool keychain. I will warn you that you don't want to touch these beds. They do stay hot. I had let mine cool for quite a bit, so there's no heat there at the moment. With some printers, you'll have to peel them off with a spatula, but I have got my Solval SV06 calibrated so that they come off super easily. Friends, as I wrap up this tutorial, I do want to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. As you know, I have got a page dedicated to Tinkercad, tons of amazing categories, and then down below, you will find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. Friends, below that, you will find the sweet built-in message until you can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Finally, friends, I do also want to highlight the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are a boatload of members, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. And of course, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.